I'll show you a little trick. I took a little bit of the Fair Artistry Concealer and a little bit of the Port Wine Liner. We're just going to mix them together to create a very subtle shadow base. And I'm just going to press it into the lid. Use your finger or brush and just start at the base of the lashes and blend it up all the way over the lid to the brow. Just a very subtle base. We mixed Golden Sunset from the Sparkle Collection. You always want to start from the base of the lashes and work up over the lid. Next, I'm going to use Twilight. We're going to do just over the lid. The wonderful thing about these formulas is you can layer them, mix them, and match them. And this particular color, Twilight, I'm going to use right along the lower lash line. It might feel a bit wet at first, but once it dries, it creates this beautiful finish. I'm going to do a little bit of the Length and Definition Mascara. We're going to go down over the lash first and then up. Be sure to wiggle it at the base. Pour wine along the top of Christina's lashes. I'm just working the liner into the base of the lashes very lightly. You don't have to draw a perfect line. Bronze patina underneath, just in the outer third of her eye, and then I'm using the smudger to drag it into the rest of the eye area. Third color in the Sparkle Collection is called Midnight Star. It's a very pale blue. And this one we're going to use just in the center of the lid, right up to the crease. On Christine's cheeks, I'm going to use the sequin rose. It goes on like a sheer veil of color. I'm going to use a fluffy brush, and I'm going to start on the apple of her cheek, and I'm going to pull it right up to the temple. Whatever excess is on the brush, I'm just applying to her temples and along her hairline. To finish Christina's look off, we're going to use the Lilac Shimmer Gloss in the Enchanted Garden Collection. Use a little bit of the bronze patina just on the waterline here. There you go. And that's the finished look.